Pegmatite. Pegmatite is an exceptionally coarse-grained igneous rock, typically forming during the final stages of magma crystallization. These rocks are characterized by their large crystal sizes, which can exceed several centimeters or even meters in length. Pegmatites are primarily composed of the same minerals as granite, quartz, feldspar, and mica, but the conditions under which they form allow for the development of much larger crystals. Formation and Composition Pegmatites form from the residual magma left after the bulk of a body of magma has crystallized. This residual magma is often rich in water and volatile elements like boron, lithium, and fluorine, which lower the viscosity and melting point of the magma, allowing it to penetrate cracks and voids in the surrounding rock. As the magma cools slowly, the volatile-rich environment facilitates the growth of exceptionally large crystals. The primary minerals found in pegmatites include Quartz, a hard, crystalline mineral composed of silicon and oxygen atoms. Feldspar, a group of rock-forming tectosilicate minerals that make up about 41% of the Earth's continental crust by weight. Mica, a silicate mineral known for its sheet-like structure and excellent cleavage properties. In addition to these major components, pegmatites can contain a variety of accessory minerals, some of which are rare and valuable, such as beryl, from which emeralds and aquamarines are derived, tourmaline, and spodumene. Economic Importance Pegmatites are significant from an economic perspective because they are often sources of valuable minerals and gemstones. Some of the key resources extracted from pegmatites include Gemstones Pegmatites can contain precious and semi-precious stones such as emeralds, aquamarines, and tourmalines. Industrial minerals Pegmatites are mined for feldspar, used in the manufacture of ceramics and glass, and mica, used in electronics and insulation materials. Rare elements, lithium, tantalum, and niobium are often found in pegmatites, making them important sources for the electronics and green energy industries. Occurrences Pegmatites are found worldwide, often in association with large granite bodies. Some notable pegmatite deposits include The Black Hills of South Dakota, known for producing a wide variety of minerals and gemstones. Minas Gerais, Brazil, famous for its gem-quality tourmaline and other gemstones. The Tinspodumene Belt in North Carolina, a significant source of lithium-bearing spodumene. Scientific Interest From a scientific perspective, Pegmatites are of great interest because they provide insights into the processes of magma differentiation and the conditions of the Earth's crust during the late stages of magma crystallization. The study of pegmatites can reveal information about the temperature, pressure, and chemical environment of the magma from which they formed. In summary, pegmatites are fascinating igneous rocks with significant geological, economic, and scientific importance. Their unique formation process and the wide variety of minerals they contain make them a key subject of study in the field of geology. Formation of Pegmatite The formation of pegmatite is a complex process that involves the final stages of magma crystallization, resulting in the growth of exceptionally large crystals. Understanding the formation of pegmatite requires a detailed look at the geological conditions, the chemistry of the residual magma, and the environment in which these rocks form. Here's an in-depth look at the formation process. Initial Stages, Magma Differentiation Pegmatite formation begins with the differentiation of magma within the Earth's crust. Magma differentiation is the process by which a single magma can produce a variety of different igneous rocks through the crystallization and removal of minerals. As magma cools, different minerals crystallize at different temperatures. The early crystallizing minerals, such as olivine and pyroxene, are typically denser and settle out of the magma, leaving behind a more silica-rich melt. Residual Magma and Volatile Enrichment As crystallization proceeds, the composition of the remaining melt becomes increasingly enriched in volatile components like water, H2O, fluorine, F, boron, B, and lithium, Li. These volatiles lower the viscosity and melting point of the residual magma, allowing it to remain fluid even as it cools. 
The volatile-enriched magma can infiltrate fractures and voids in the surrounding rock, creating a conducive environment for the growth of large crystals. Migration and Concentration The volatile-rich residual magma tends to migrate upwards through the Earth's crust due to its lower density. This migration often occurs along fractures, faults, and other structural weaknesses. As the magma moves, it can become concentrated in specific locations, forming dikes, sills, or lenses of pegmatite. Crystallization Conditions The crystallization of pegmatite occurs under unique conditions characterized by slow cooling and a high concentration of volatiles. The high volatile content lowers the nucleation rate of new crystals but enhances the growth rate of existing crystals. This environment is conducive to the formation of very large crystals, which is the hallmark of pegmatite. The slow cooling allows the ions in the melt to migrate and add to the existing crystals, facilitating their growth to sizes much larger than those typically found in other igneous rocks. Chemical Zoning and Mineral Diversity Pegmatites often exhibit complex internal structures, including chemical zoning. This zoning reflects the changes in the composition of the residual melt during crystallization. For example, the core of a pegmatite body might be rich in quartz and feldspar, while the outer zones might contain minerals like mica, beryl, tourmalin, and spodumene. The chemical composition of the melt and the temperature pressure conditions during crystallization influence the specific minerals that form in different zones of the pegmatite. Accessory Minerals and Rare Elements One of the most intriguing aspects of pegmatites is the presence of accessory minerals and rare elements. As the residual magma continues to crystallize, elements that do not easily fit into the structures of the major minerals become concentrated in the remaining melt. These elements, which include lithium, beryllium, tantalum, niobium, and rare earth elements, eventually form their own minerals. The presence of these rare elements makes pegmatites economically significant, as they can be sources of valuable industrial minerals and gemstones. Examples of pegmatite deposits Pegmatites are found in many parts of the world, often associated with large granite bodies. Some notable examples include The Black Hills of South Dakota, USA, known for producing a wide variety of minerals and gemstones, including spodumene, beryl, and tourmaline. Minas Gerais, Brazil, famous for its gem-quality tourmaline and other gemstones. The Tin Spodumene Belt in North Carolina, USA, a significant source of lithium-bearing spodumene. Conclusion in summary, the formation of pegmatite is a result of the final stages of magma crystallization, characterized by the presence of a volatile-rich residual melt, slow cooling, and specific chemical conditions. These factors combine to produce rocks with exceptionally large crystals and a diverse array of minerals, including many that are economically valuable. The study of pegmatites provides valuable insights into geological processes and the conditions present in the Earth's crust during the late stages of magma differentiation.